Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about how the ratio of moment of couple to moment of force affects the movement. Let's understand a few common terms. Center of mass is the point where whole mass of a free body can be thought to be concentrated. The term center of resistance is used for a restrained body like a tooth. When force is applied on the center of mass or center of resistance, body moves in a straight line without rotating. However, when force is applied away from the center of mass, moment of force tends to rotate the body. Here, force applied is F, distance of force application from the center of resistance is D, hence moment of force is F multiplied by D. This moment tends to rotate the body. Here are three situations with same force applied at different distances from the center of mass. As the distance of force application from center of mass increases, rotational tendency due to moment of force also increases. When we try to move teeth orthodontically, it would be the best if we could apply force on the center of resistance, which isn't really possible with a healthy periodontium. So, to move a tooth, we apply force on the crown, which is away from the center of resistance. Hence, moment of force tends to rotate the tooth. In order to avoid rotation of tooth, we can apply equal and opposite moment by applying equal and opposite force. But in that case, tooth will not move at all. If we apply opposite force of less magnitude at a farther distance from the center of resistance, we can apply the same moment in opposite direction, which cancels out and tooth moves in a straight line. Let's have a look at an example. If we apply force of 300 grams at 10 mm distance from a center of resistance, the moment of force would be 3000 gram mm. To cancel out this moment, we apply a couple of 200 grams at 15 mm distance. Moment of force would cancel out moment of couple, hence tooth will move in a translatory motion under the influence of resultant 100 gram force. The rotational tendency due to force applied is called moment of force and rotational tendency due to couple is called moment of couple. It's the ratio of moment of couple to moment of force which determines the rotational movement of tooth. Now I'm going to talk about different ratios of moment of couple to moment of force. In the first case, ratio of moment of couple to moment of force is zero, which means no moment of couple has been applied. So resultant tooth movement due to applied moment of force is uncontrolled tipping. In the next case, ratio of moment of couple to moment of force is less than 1, which means moment of force is greater than moment of couple. Tooth movement due to resultant moment is controlled tipping. Furthermore, ratio of moment of couple to moment of force is equal to 1, which means moment of force is equal to moment of couple. Hence, there is no resultant moment leading to bodily tooth movement. And lastly, ratio of moment of couple to moment of force is more than 1, which means moment of couple is greater than moment of force. Due to the resultant moment, root movement takes place. Here is a brief summary. I hope you understood the concept well. Have a great time.